friends, welcome to Leg Life, and welcome back to a Sunday cooking video. Yeah. Uh, it's been a long time <laughs> it has. since we have done one of these, but we were just getting ready to make something for the coming week and thought, you know what, this is probably the kind of thing that it would be fun to vlog. Yeah. So for breakfast lately, we have been making what, Sherry? Egg bites. We've been experimenting with it, trying to figure out how to do it. We actually even bought an egg bite maker from Target, which was a complete and total bust. <laughs> we'll tell you why a little later in this vlog. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to show you how we make our egg bites, which will be our breakfasts this entire week. Yeah. Sherry Beth, we've talked a lot about how breakfasts are kind of a struggle for us. We've done just like yogurts, we've done smoothies, we've done lots of different things. Yeah. What does he like about egg bites? Um, I like that it's easy to do variety, so I don't have like the exact same thing for, you know, all five days of work. Uh -huh. um, and they're easy to eat. I actually like that I have to eat them with like a fork um, or a spoon because if like we've made some kind of breakfasty things that I have to eat with my hands and then it's hard to like work and type with like stuff all over my hands. Because you eat breakfast when you get to the office. Right and so I'm like eating while I'm working and it's it's harder to do when you have like finger food. Totally makes sense. Um, you talked about variety. Mm -hmm. We're actually making two different kinds of egg bites today yes. so let's show them what we're gonna make. So here's kind of everything we're gonna need. Um, for the mixture, we're going to use egg, we're going to use cottage cheese, which Sherry, this was a new thing to me, but yes. I think I'm a believer. Well, yes, and so most, there's, there's a lot of people that don't like cottage cheese. We do actually like it just to By eat itself, it. yep. Um, but I was a little bit like skeptical when I read the recipe and it called for cottage cheese because I was like, an egg bites, really? Um, but for whatever reason, the cons consistency like totally works yeah. in the egg bites. And so, and I think like we, we've tried to make egg bites before and it was always a little too runny and a little too like not correct. And I think the cottage cheese is the key. I think so too. So for both of the kind of flavors we're going to be making, uh, eggs, cottage cheese, and then we will use Pam to spray down our muffin pan. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're going to make two. We're going to make a ham and cheese. So I just have some diced ham here and then some shredded cheddar cheese. And then we're going to make a spinach, onion, and feta version. Yes. Now, we are going to be making these in just like a muffin tin. So let's talk about the egg bite maker that we purchased. What's going on, Sherry? Fine. <laughs> wow. All right. Now let's talk about the egg bite maker. Okay. All right, Sherry Beth, what do you got there? The egg bite maker. Yep. We bought this at Target. It was like, I don't know, 20 some dollars. 24 99 I think. Um, here's the problem that we ran into with it. Okay. First of all, it's very tiny. Yeah. So these little, I just want to show you guys. So these little egg bites, like, like they're super, they're super very small. Tiny. And so for breakfast, you found that you were having three of them. Or, well, four. I was making four for one day. So this made one day's breakfast. Yep. It takes about 15 minutes to cook. Per day. Which means times five Ugh. plus making the mixture. Um, it was taking me like an hour and a half. That's lame. Which I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to spend that long making breakfast because I'm just going to resort to yogurt. Yeah, totally. Because I don't want to take that long to make a damn breakfast. So. And, okay, language. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. And for these, we can make 12 at once, which knocks out an entire week because these and, are so big. And they're bigger. So probably two a day. Will be plenty for breakfast. Right. Completely agree. So let's... Uh, Let's show them how the heck we make these. Okay. All right, so the first thing I've done is I've actually preheated the oven to 350 degrees. So that will be ready when we are ready to put the egg bites in the oven. And the next thing I'm gonna do is actually to cook down our spinach and our onion. Obviously spinach, super like big and leafy. And I just wanna cook that down with the onions until the onions are like translucent. And then uh, that mixture will go in the bottom of the muffin pan. So this is the only thing we are having to cook. Um, if we weren't doing spinach and um, like onions, 
we wouldn't have to cook anything. Right. Well, a couple weeks ago, we did reindeer sausage and cheese. We just mm -hmm. cut up the reindeer mm -hmm. sausage, put that in there. That uh, I did a chorizo and onions and peppers. peppers. It was like a southwestern, and it was amazing. You did have to cook. Which I did have to cook the chorizo, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yep. So step number one, uh, let's do the spinach and the onions. So you can see I just have like a little bit of butter here in the pan that those are gonna go in. And this is why we are cutting them down. <laughs> like this is, this is like Adam and Eve covering their nethers, kind of <laughs> like spinach. Large. Yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and just give those a quick rough chop. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously spinach is going to wilt a ton when it cooks, but those are really big pieces. So a little bit of rough chop, boom. Beautiful Sherry Beth. Thank you. First thing in the pan is actually going to be some of our onions. So you see the onions getting nice and happy over here. We're gonna let them cook by themselves in the butter. Just kind of soften up, get nice and translucent. And then we will add all of the spinach to that here in just a couple of minutes. But while those are cooking, Sherry Beth is going to get started on the egg mixture. Yes. Now this egg mixture is going to be what we use for the ham and cheese and the spinach and feta. Yes, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make one mixture for both. Yep. Um, and then we will fill our toppings in each each cup in the muffin pan. Okay, how many eggs are you using? I'm gonna use all of them. Okay, and a whole dozen. Yep. I love it. So the mixture is actually super simple. Yes it is. It's eggs. It's eggs, cottage cheese, and, and then like salt and salt pepper. And pepper. And yeah. Perfect, there we go. And I actually think these are getting Perfect, so I'm gonna turn the temperature down just a little on those, and let's add our spinach. Wasn't it Emerald who used to be like, boom! Something like that. Stir that around a little bit. Oh yeah, you can already see the spinach starting to get a little bit smaller and cooked there. You can see Sherry Beth over here cracking eggs, and that's about just what we're looking for. So I've went ahead and turned the heat off to that pan. Sherry has the dozen of eggs in the bowl. Mm -hmm. And now you're adding about how much, if you had about to guess? six tablespoons, it's not an exact science. Um, and we're really close to like the end of this, so I'm just gonna use the rest of it. And it'll be probably closer to seven tablespoons of cottage cheese. That's fine. It's fine. Because it does actually melt down. Like you, it doesn't stay in like the curd form. Yep. Yeah, and you don't have like cottage cheese curds in your egg bites. No. That was one of my concerns. Right. Now you're gonna mix it all up. Mm -hmm. Very fun. Get the eggs nice and beaded, beaten, beatered, beaten, beaten, <laughs> beaded. Yeah. And nailed it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get our pepper and our salt. And what's nice is that there's cottage cheese in there, but we're actually adding cheese to both of these because we're gonna have feta in one and cheddar in the next. Yeah. Cheddar is better. Now we have not done the spinach, onion, and feta. Nope. But we've had like spinach, onion, and feta omelets before, so I think it's going to be so good. Yeah. Now I'm adding some pepper and some salt. And this is just kind of to taste, like this, whatever yeah. you want. And if you don't like it, you don't have to add it. All right, so now that we have everything, like the egg mixture's prepared, the onion spinach are cooked, uh, everything else is cooked, I'm going to go ahead and spray down our muffin pan with just some like butter flavored Pam. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our filling and put it just like a scoop in the bottom. So whatever you were using, obviously this is our onion spinach mix. Mm -hmm. When I was doing the chorizo and peppers and onions, I put the chorizo, peppers and onions in the bottom and I'm just trying to be, make sure that I have enough. We're gonna do six of each of these. Oh yeah, I'll have plenty. Yeah, you can probably top off a couple of them. Yep, so now that we have our ingredients in there, I'm just gonna put a couple little feta crumbles in there too. The next one, super simple. Ham and cheese. Yep, we're just doing ham and cheese. And we got this pre-cubed ham, which is super easy. And we're using the shredded cheese, which is also super easy. <laughs> and when I was buying the pre-cubed ham, they had different pre-cubed hams. One of them was like really big cubes. Mm -hmm. I wanted the small cubes for this. I just feel like it would be just kind of a lot better in this. Yep, agreed. And so basically what you want to do is you want to put it into the bottom of the tin and then the egg mixture over the top, which will kind of infiltrate and then most of the stuff will sort of float up and 
um, we'll show you when it's done, but like mm -hmm. it doesn't all just settle at the bottom in the egg bite. And then on top of the ham, Some the cheese. most important part, I would argue, <laughs> the cheese. And one of the things I love about this is that this would be a great way to use leftovers. Yep. If you had leftover ham, you could just cut it up. If you had leftover turkey, if you have leftover bacon, like sausage, whatever you have left over, mm -hmm. this is perfect. So there we go, those all finished, ready for the egg. Okay, so this is the egg mixture. There is one thing that we need to know. Yep. You're gonna wanna keep your whisk handy because the cottage cheese settles at the bottom. Yeah. And so as you're pouring, you kinda wanna like stir it back up and then pour, and then stir it and pour. Um, or else you're just gonna get nothing but egg mixture, and then the last ones are gonna be just nothing but cottage cheese. Super helpful. So here goes Sherry Bath, just pouring them in. And one thing to remember is that these do rise, so you don't want to fill them all the way to the top. Right, kind of like muffins. You're going to want to fill them about three quarters of the way because they will puff up. And you can see some of that cheese rising in there, mm -hmm. floating to the top a little bit. So perfect. You could add extra cheese on the top if you wanted, but I actually think we're going to be good with what we added. Sherry Beth, yep. we have a unique dilemma. We have more egg mixture. Yep. Than egg cups. Yep, so you can see we actually have this much left over. So we're like, well, what do we do with that? So what we've decided is we also have this in the fridge. Uh, it's like a Jimmy Dean meat lovers. It's got, you know, pork sausage and bacon crumbles. And so we're just gonna get another muffin tin out. Sure he's got it right over there. And we're just gonna use up the rest of the egg mixture and make a few extra egg bites. So you can see we're doing the exact same thing. Sure he's just putting that sausage bacon mixture there in the bottom filling it up a little bit and then we're gonna add cheddar cheese to the top so one of the things that we've actually heard now we haven't tried this is that you can actually freeze these you can batch make a whole bunch of them and then freeze them uh definitely something that we might try in the future because i think that would be honestly just super convenient to make um but for now we're just going to go ahead and make all of these and eat them this week you can even kind of see a little bit the last mixture that's getting poured, there's like a lot of cottage cheese. There's more cottage cheese in there the cottage cheese. than those. That's okay. Just because the cottage cheese does like sink to the bottom. So Sherry's pointed out, it's good to know that 12 eggs, a full dozen, makes 18 of the full muffin cups. Yep. So Sherry Beth, the oven is preheated to 350 degrees. Now we're gonna put these in for 20 minutes mm -hmm. and check on them. Here we go to the last ones. See you in 20 minutes. Have fun. <laughs> All right, just like that, 20 minutes is up. Now, the question, was it enough time or do we need to go longer? Oh my gosh, look at those puffy, oh my goodness. Sherry Bath, mm -hmm. you wanna come over here, my love? Tell me what you think. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> those puffed up a lot more. They did. Oh my goodness. They smell so good. All right, so here is what it looks like. It looks like this tray here is done. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take those out, let those sit up there. These that had all of the extra cottage cheese, Yeah. we're not sure if it's still runny because of all of the cheese in right. there. But it is still pretty. You can see it's still pretty runny. Pretty runny, so, so we're gonna put them back in. Yep, so we're gonna move those to the center. And let's put those in for, what do you think, Sherry? Let's do like five minutes and check. All right, five. Good to go. You can actually see these already kind of settling. shrinking down, settling a little bit. Look Holy good, cow, they look so good. Take two, because five minutes is up. Let's see how they're doing. I think that's better. You think it's better? Yep. Oh, oh sorry, I forgot to turn off the, that's so annoying. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Oh yeah, my goodness. This looks so good. And we did test this, you guys, look at this. Look at them, they just like come, right, oh my gosh, right out. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I'm very excited. I am too. So we're gonna let these cool, yep. and then we'll kind of show you guys the final result once we take them out of there. All right, so we just took a bunch of these out to take the thumbnail, YouTube realities. Um, and you can see these are still Pretty easy, or easy, eggy, oh geez, and overflowing a little bit. That's okay. Although, Sherry, can try that. <laughs> we, now, we haven't tried this yet. So, what do you think? Is it good? 
It's really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. With Because these were like the super cottage cheese ones. Mm -hmm. All right, sugar bite. Because it doesn't taste like cottage cheese. Oh, it just tastes creamy. Yeah, it's really Holy good. Holy cow. Holy cow. Okay, so now the way we are going to kind of package these up is basically going to be two. Two each. Boom, look at that. Love that. And are we doing like two of the same kind? Probably. Okay, so you need what, like a ham and cheese? Yep. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna go package these up and give you our final thoughts. Straight bath egg bites are done. All of our breakfast this week are done. Yes. Feels nice to go into the week um, just having it finished. Yeah. Again, because we both kind of eat breakfast sort of similar, just kind of either on the go. We need something to just like grab and is easy. Easy to eat, yeah. And I love that these are the kind of things because sometimes you can get in a rut, right? And it's just like I had the same thing every day for a month. Mm -hmm. And even though they're all egg bites, they're all very different. They're different flavors, and, and I, so it feels different. Yeah. So. so friends, uh, there you go. We haven't done a Sunday cooking video in a long time, and we just thought, well, since we're making these, let's bring you guys along with them so you can yeah. see what the heck we eat in the mornings. <laughs> yeah. Um, so for the next week, a lot of egg bites. Yeah. Friends, uh, also, here's what I wanna know. I have a question for all of you. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any egg bite combinations that you think would be delicious? Oh. Again, we've done reindeer sausage and cheese. Yeah. Uh, we did these three different kinds. Mm -hmm. I did my chorizo one. Do you have any combinations that you think would be great for us to try that you'd like yeah. to see us make. I would love to have extra ones. Yeah. What do you think, Sherry? Yeah. All right, friends, we love you guys so very much. We'll see you on the next Leg Life video.